today I don't have a snazzy intro or catchphrase, but I am still going to make a video anyway. So this is a pretty cool thing, and I should probably show you it first. The style of an infomercial. Are you having trouble finding your house? I can't seem to be able to walk through the door. Maybe because it's hidden with the magic door. With its magic. Well, how does it work? Easy! Just follow these simple steps. Step 1. Walk up to the obnoxiously shaped wall... wall. Step 2. Step on the obnoxiously obvious pressure plates. Step 3. Remember your combination. 1, 2, 4. Step f number after whatever I walk through the door. Okay, so um, it's fairly simple. Just get started. So if I have a three, uh, you know, five lever lock, I will do a three by seven. I will then, yeah, third person, build up two in the back. This will be the back. Make sure it's facing towards the back. <laughs> um, so then take your levers and put them on the inside and place the outside too with orange wool in my case. Uh, then head around to the back and just build out three. Um, this next part is going to actually differ based on what you want. So say I want my levers to be 1, 2, and 4 again. So I put a redstone torch against that wall. And where I don't want it, I will put a redstone repeater. Uh, then just place redstone on the remaining blocks. I don't know how this works, but it works. So then it's fairly simple. Um, make sure you space it right, like I didn't. <laughs> so there are sticky pistons there and there. Uh, make sure you just space it correctly like I didn't, but um, it's really simple, you know? Um, so in case you're extremely new to Minecraft... Oh yes, this digging trench part is not um, needed, it's just there to hide the redstone. Um, I just kind of like it. Uh, but if you're new to Minecraft, um, I can kind of explain this to you. What a repeater does, it it um, it extends the signal and adds a delayed tick. Um, so now what you're going to... Well, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the first part. Two levers down. Third one, it retracts. So it's a complete combination lock. Um, but this next part is just for that uh, piston thing you saw. You step on a pressure plate, and it opens up the option for the levers. Um, this is highly optional, so uh, let's get started. So I'm going to use blue wool for this part, just so uh, no one gets confused. Um, so what you're going to want to do is that. So descriptive. <laughs> So I build kind of like a sofa, where the seat is five cushions long, and each arm is one. Uh, so then what you're going to want to do is build up like that, or just find any way to place your pistons. Um, I mean, you don't really need that edge, so I mean, I'm not going to include it, but... You know, sometimes it's helpful. Okay, so now what you're going to do... So come over to the back here. And normally you would place a repeater if for the output signal like that. However, for the pistons, you'll be placing them like that. Um, then just place a redstone like this. Now be careful not to interfere with that signal down there. Like, be extremely careful. Like, at all costs. Like, not even kidding. I've had it fail so many times just because it interfered with that. So, uh, be careful. By this point, you'll probably uh, need a repeater, but 
This is the part that most people don't really understand when they're new to redstone. Um, placing a block here, sorry, here, placing and placing a redstone torch will cause that to happen. Now as you can see, if you did it right, the pistons will have extended. Ooh, I bet I cut out that part about the talk there. That was long. I believe you can do this. Um, if not, then just correct me. Uh, let's just get it going there. Uh, now say, um, you know what, I'm just going to do it like this. Just dig a big old trench. Just basically put a bunch of redstone down here. Um, what this next part does is it just extends the redstone. I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of fast. I'll just put that there just so it's even. Oops. So what I would suggest doing is, just because this is probably your first time, I would use wooden pressure plates so that you can throw items and test to see where you, where you went wrong if you went wrong. Just throw it. There you go. There we go. Actually, let's keep this open for a second here. Um, so, say, well, once it's open, you think, oh, well, how do I close it again? Um, so what you do is, you know, why did I, yeah. Um, so this area should be covered with dirt. Um, what I would recommend is have a lever somewhere over the redstone path, and you just shut that. And I, why does this part always, oh, I get why. Okay, so make sure it's over both, um, paths of the redstone. Uh, this is highly important. I think that kind of runs the combo, but, yeah. Um, so you'd really need to put it right in that stretch right there if it was longer. Um, using the side of the lever will only close one side, but it will lock it. Um, so that not even the right combo can open it. So, um, if you're in there, it'll actually fool your enemies. Hope I didn't talk too fast on that last part. So thank you for watching. Uh, see you guys next time, and I really need a catchy catchphrase, so, um... Yeah.